All right. All right, Brian Finn with Geek Nights. We are back with, uh, again, I don't have to say it, but legendary Ed Greenwood. And uh, I, I think Elminster was somewhere here walking around at some point, right? So, <laughs> exactly. So we're going to talk just about, um, so your, your history of, of the stuff that you've been through. Do you have anything just like a cool story or just a, a memory or something that just no one or probably we would love to hear about? I think... I think the coolest one was at a Milwaukee-era Gen Con years ago. I was running a, a, a charity table, okay. um, and, and TSR would ask me to do this because they knew I could do a, a sort of no-rules free-form. So if you had the mayor of Milwaukee or somebody who'd never played before, mm -hmm. he could just sit in and play D&D &D mm -hmm. and, and understand it wasn't a satanic game. Yeah. And, and they didn't have to have the rule books. They didn't have to know anything. I would tell them, roll that D20, roll that D12, and just tell them what happened. So it's like preformed storytelling. Gotcha. And there was this very brilliant, nerdy young girl. Mm -hmm. um, who was there at Gen Con, and she was obviously, she begged her parents, and they were, they were helicopter parents. Oh, right. Okay, you know, they were watching, well, is their little girl gonna, yeah. you know, and, and the father drifted away because he started seeing all this cool stuff you could yeah. buy. So, cool. so he, yeah, he's off shopping. Yeah. The mother is hovering. She's playing at the table. Mm -hmm. She's the only female at the table, and she's the only young person at the table. Everybody else at the table looks like me. Oh, right. Maybe not white hair, yeah. but you know, we're all overweight, yep. t-shirts with inappropriate things yeah. on them, um, facial hair and stuff. And she's a little nervous. Yeah. And I'm thinking, okay, I don't want her to get bullied. Like, do this, you know, by other by other veteran players. So I. I hand out the characters and she chooses the paladin. Oh, So nice. I'm going, great. <laughs> so, paladin to the fore. You know, she's... Yeah, she's and, the leader. Yeah. And unfortunately, the whole group of them, they go too far into the dungeon. Oh. And they're down to three hit points and two hit oh, points. Gosh. And they have stirred up the hornet's nest of orcs. Oh, God. So there's orcs coming at them by the hundreds, by the thousands. They're not going to make it out. Right. And they suddenly realize... We can't go on just pretend we're the heroes, we're going to win. we got to run. We have to run or we're going to die. Right. And now they're getting sniped at by the orcs. And the orcs are to take bleeding hit points off them as they go. They as they're retreating. Through. Yeah. And they finally come to this really narrow bit. And the poor little girl tears up because this was her first convention. This was her first chance to shine. Maybe her first chance to play D and D right. with other people, right. and she so wanted to have a victory. But to her, she'd gotten role playing; she understood acting. Mm -hmm. So, what would the paladin do? You know. The stars. So she turns in this narrow doorway mm -hmm. and she says, "Goodbye, my friends. It was nice knowing oh you." God. And she holds the narrow door and oh. she is weeping. Oh. And sure enough, she goes down. And of course, her mother hears her little girl crying right. and comes running just as all these big hairy guys lift this girl up on their shoulders right. and they're roaring her name oh, in man. approval because she saved their lives. They yeah. got their characters out of the dungeon. Yeah. She died. Oh. She sacrificed herself. And they are just oh. like roaring her name and cheering her out. And, and the, just the look on her face, of, oh. you know, from the ashes of defeat to. I belong. Yeah. I did something. I achieved yeah. something. Suddenly, I'm famous or the center of attention or, and people are looking up to me. Older people are looking up to me. Mm -hmm. Now I'm getting my back slapped and my hand shaken by all these big hairy guys. I, they're, they're like half a generation older than me. I made it. Oh. I'm one of them. Yeah. You know, and, and then, then to see the mother's face, oh, my, my brilliant baby girl. Who is a misfit, you know? Um, she's accepted. She's she suddenly hero. has new friends. She's a hero, and she has new friends. And the game did that. Yeah. The game gave her a whole bunch of new friends. And of course, they're going to meet again at later Gen Cons. They're going to play together. They're friends now, you know. They're they're equals. Yeah. And she she did it. They they know. These guys know that she will lay down her life for them. So she's suddenly okay she's in there. their books. And the, the father arrives with his arms full of stuff, and he goes, "What? What happened?" You know. Oh my goodness. You know, but 
she's beaming. Oh. You know, and it's that, that's exactly what D and D. What I want to share. Yeah. And that story right there. Yeah. Imagine that coming to life. Yeah. And we you, could bring that with Geek. Yeah. Night. Yeah. We could bring this amazing oh, yeah. epic moment. And that's one thing that's as the the uh, Geek Night community. And when you go to Kickstarter, you'll see what we're talking about. You as fans, us as DM, as players, when you join our community, you get to submit your best story, your best one shot. Then we take those top 10 and we put it out there to let you guys vote on it. How and cool. think about that. Episode 8, every season is a fan based one shot. And you might, this one, I don't even know if we can beat that one, Ed. You might have already sealed the first season because I'm the power of, of seeing that little girl and her emotion and her standing there as a paladin. And imagine her seeing that come to life, going into oh, yeah. the screen and seeing her character, this awesome oh, thing yeah. that she created, holding that door as her friends are getting yeah. away to live. And that's what we want to share. And that's the power of D&D. And that's what I want to share with, with this. So we have all our tight knit community that knows this, but then you have those people that they don't understand the game. Yeah. It's getting out there a little bit, yeah. so we want to bring that to them. Yeah, and, and on, on, on a more mon mundane level, with, without you know the youth coming out of its shell, I mean, do your co-workers or, or the people at school with you, do they really get what you do if they're not gamers? You know, does your grandma really know? And she's going, I don't know if I should spend all this money on this thing for you for Christmas. Because, yeah. you know, this is pretty weird. And if you go online, you show her these vast assembly halls of people shopping or a table with a bunch of guys sitting around it with paper and dice and maybe a pop can or something on the table. It's like, what are you doing? But then your stuff, would you do a clip and they, and then the person would say, that's me, see? And that's my character. Look. And it's like, yeah. oh, you're in a movie. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. But, but look what's happening. Look what my character yeah, does. Yeah, look what my character does. Yeah. And, and then they go, okay. I get why you spend all this money on this. I get why you spend this time in the basement with your friends. I get all that now because it look, you get it's, you get to be the hero. It's, it's magical. It's yeah. magical. Well, that hopefully hopefully we can share that and get that out there. Right? Yeah. Anyway, um, I for sharing that story. That was the whole cast that I cast. They're all D and D players. I had everyone share their most epic, sad, powerful, funny moment. And you just get these emotions. Yeah. And it. You immediately. I saw you go back to oh, that yeah. time. Yeah. I'm and you tearing go into up. That. I remember it because exactly because it was so special for that little girl. Yeah. And you realize, I'm changing a life here. Exactly. Uh, heavy responsibility time, you know. Yeah. Oh, but I'm changing a life here. Yeah. You know. Exactly. Oh, okay. All right, guys. Yeah. October 24th, Kickstarter. We're gonna do this. We're gonna make this so epic. I promise. We are gonna do this game justice. And I really can't wait to bring your stories to life. I'm in. <laughs> Get in. I'm in. Thank you so much. <laughs>